Hi YouTube, in this video I rebuild this rendering rig and then I will show some benchmark tests where I test one, two, and four of the graphics cards at one time. This test showed some really, really interesting results because these graphics cards are all running on one lane mining risers. So stick around and you'll see what the results were. So I started off by removing the old motherboard and all of the GPUs from the setup. And then I had to prep my new motherboard. So the new system uses a X470 motherboard from MSI and I'm using a 5800X 8 core CPU and 32 gigabytes of RAM. The old system was a four core, four thread Intel uh, i5-3570K and I just didn't have enough threads to push all the data. So once I got my processor in and my cooler set up, I start reattaching it to the machine. And this is a mining frame, as you can see, and the GPUs are all installed on mining risers. Uh, this kind of setup allows you to use a lot more graphics cards on one machine. And whether or not that is worth it is kind of the, uh, the whole idea of this test, but we'll show, we'll show whether it is or not in a second. Otherwise, these machines are more or less the same as a normal desktop PC. They just have an open air configuration, which has a lot more space for GPUs. And honestly, the cooling can, can be a lot better too. Here are the new system specs. Have a 5800X CPU from AMD, which is eight core, 16 thread, 32 gigabytes of RAM, three RTX 3080 Ti's, one RTX 3080 10 gigabyte, and all four of these GPUs are installed on one lane mining risers. So once I get everything reassembled, it's, it's ready to go. There's what it looks like on the shelf again. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to just get right into it and test this new processor running all four graphics cards on one iteration of Blender. So I just went halfway into the timeline on my little fluid simulation here and picked a, a decent looking frame and I render a single image. So you can kind of tell, and I know from experience already this started to seem slower than it should be. With these four high power GPUs, this should be a lot faster, but it took three minutes and 27 seconds for these four cards to run one frame. And I would have expected a lot less than that. So something I already knew was going wrong, um, but I decided to keep testing and see what I could figure out. So the next test, I ran two cards, two 3080 Ti's. And from the get-co, I could tell it was already going a little faster. Um, you can see there's load on two of the cards. One is just running display, but the same frame with two GPUs took a minute 15. So literally half the time with half the GPUs. Now that doesn't make any sense. You'd expect the other way. So one more test, testing just one GPU, and I get 46 seconds for the same frame. So now I was actually fairly confused for a minute, so I had to take a little break. But here we are, back onto, back onto the test. So I'll remote back into Render 11, which is the machine we just rebuilt. For this round of tests, I wanted to see if running separate blender iterations might solve the uh, mysterious bottlenecking that we have going on. So I opened four blender iterations and I opened the same file on all four and I set them up the same way. So all four of these machines will print separate frames to the same folder. And to really test to see if this works, uh, I gave every iteration of blender a separate GPU. So you can see that um, on this screen, each, each GPU is on one machine or on one iteration. So there's no overlap and there's no iteration running more than one GPU. So then I go in and I clear out the old frames from the test folder so that I know I'm not reducing the work that these have to do. And here I'll pull up task manager so you can see the load. And I start four separate renders now each iteration will run its own render, um, meaning each GPU gets one frame at a time. They're not working together. 
and I'll just let this play through. But you can already see that each one of these GPUs is running at 45 to 55 seconds for the 3080 Ti's. The 13080, which is the top right, is about a minute 15 per frame. So each one of these frames is already going at um, that minimum time or that fastest speed that we tested earlier. So I already know this is working better. And here are the total results. So the three T, uh, 3080 Ti's and one 3080 ran the 100 frame animation in 22 minutes total. So now that result is more what I expected. So the weird thing about all this is it seems like for Blender to actually use multiple GPUs, especially on mining risers like this, you have to run one iteration on each GPU. Now there's a lot of things to discuss and test here, and I'll go more into that in the future, but um, if I were to conclude something from this, I would say that just because you can plug in a whole bunch of GPUs to one machine doesn't mean that's actually gonna save you anything. I have a ton more test results coming soon. Please consider hitting all those magical YouTube buttons. Thanks for watching.